All right, <clears throat> I just wanted to make a quick little video here to show you how to make a real cheap version of a rail system for an SKS. This is the Russian SKS. So all I did basically was take a piece of aluminum like that, except it was a lot longer that way, and uh, I cut a T-shape into it, stuck it into the into the press here, and just bent the ends over with a great big uh, crescent wrench that I had. Just plug that on the ends of the T and then you just bend them carefully over until you get a fit on the back there. And then what I did is I took a disc grinder with a flap wheel on it, a sand wheel, and I just sanded it all down. And you want to make sure you go slow when you bend it because otherwise you'll crack the aluminum. It's so thick that uh, you can actually crack it. I couldn't find uh, the next size down. I would have gone a, a hair thinner, but the next thing they had was one eighth, and that was too flimsy. So, in the end, what I come down to is after I removed my pin, I found uh, I had to grind a little nub off of it. I had to make a way to sort of secure it in here. So, I custom made my own little bolt. I think I might put a handle on that right there, but uh, essentially it's the same thing. It's just a little bit longer. And uh, what I did is I used a drill bit. I used an old worn out drill bit and I just used the end. So I found one that fit inside the receiver there, was the right size for the receiver. And then that's not the, the, the bit I used, I used a different one, but had much longer stem on the bottom there. So, uh, yeah, I did that. I cut that down, and uh, I ended up drilling a small little hole in the side of the bolt. See if I can pull that up. Yeah, so you can see there on the end of the pin, I got a little, a little nub on it just drilled out a hole and I used again another drill bit a smaller one uh, the same one that I used to actually drill through it because <laughs> it was a drill bit drilling through a drill bit I wore it out pretty quick but I got it deep enough that I uh, stuck the end of it in there and I just put a drop of solder in so it would stick and uh, then once it hardened I cut it down to size and uh, trimmed off the end here and I actually had to do a quick little modification on the receiver I don't know if you can see that but there I had to grind a little notch into there so that I can get that to actually pass it so it'll slip in there and still be long enough to hold the end of that on so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, and that was pretty much it. I had to turn this on my drill press. I stuck the bit in the drill press and I turned it with a file on it just until it uh, was the right diameter to properly fit nice and snug. And that works out real good. It's got a lot of friction because the front pin here I used was yet again another drill bit and that slips in there real nice and because of the old pressure plate on there you have to actually push down to fit it in so it's held in there by quite a lot of pressure Ugh, hard to do that one handed <laughs> anyway so yeah it actually locks in there just like it would. See it took the line the top there straight down it so I can drill my holes and mount my rail to it. So you can see that because I handmade it instead of CNCing it, it wasn't perfectly straight. So I took a line at the very top of the receiver and all the way to the point right in the center there. And I just drew a line. And that's where I'm going to drill my holes on that line there. I will mount this $7 rail that I have. 
So the piece of aluminum cost me 12 bucks. This rail was about seven seven dollars. Uh, everything else I pretty much had. I had drill bits, got the press, got all the tools and everything. You could use a hand drill to do this if you want. It's not that hard. But once that's on there, I can set up a bunch of holes, mount my rail along it as far as I want. And uh, it didn't cost me 130 plus tax and shipping. It cost me 20 bucks and a couple hours of work. And a few drill bits that were spent. <laughs> so, yeah, there it is. So I just tested it. I took the uh, firing pin out and uh, just cycled a bunch of rounds here. The rail is doing a good job there. None of them went directly upwards, as you would imagine. Uh, it's not really a deflector, it's just a rail, but they didn't even hit it. They went out the side anyways. Um, but uh, one more thing I wanted to point out here is that uh, for all you guys who were complaining about using your stripper clips and stuff like that, you can't use them anymore like this, well, I think you can, because if you take this pin and you just add like a little bit of a handle onto it or something, just solder a piece of brass on there so it's easier to pull, pull out, you just take that pin, pull this up, and bam, now you can use your stripper clip. Stick it in there, feed it in, close her up. Pin is in, back to zero ready to rock. It's a little extra step, yeah I know, but there you go. Easy solution.